Hello guys, now we're going to do a review on a 2021 Subaru WRX base. Now this one comes in in a 2.0 intercooled turbocharged engine and this is a 6-speed manual and you have a sport tuned suspension. And right here we have a 17-inch aluminum alloy wheels and it comes in with summer tires. And when you look at the mirrors, we can see that we have a heated mirror. It doesn't come in with a blind spot monitor since this one's a base. You got to go up to the premium in order to get that feature. Now on the back, we have our exhaust. And the middle part right here doesn't light up unlike the STIs where you have like the red blinker over there anyway this is what it looks like in the back third brake light and this is an all wheel drive now we have the 17s I just barely got this car a couple weeks ago and I like it. Now this is what it looks like on the front. Now since this one's the base, it doesn't come in with an LED um, running lights, daytime running lights. It comes in with like a halogen lights, but they're okay. I can't complain. Now we have the scoop right here. This is a functional hood scoop right here. And we don't have the Subaru eyesight on this one since it's a base, you gotta go up to premium, but it's usually right there. And this is what it looks like on the top. You got your shark fin antenna. And it comes in with Sirius XM. Now let's open up the back side. Very comfy. This is for the back passenger side. I'd say it's still spacious. The seat's like pushed all the way in the back and I still have a lot of leg room right here. And it's super comfortable and this is the light that you get. This is the base WRX. We have some red stitching on the seats. Okay, now you got power windows right here. We're gonna open the back door. I mean the trunk, sorry. No, this is the trunk. It's pretty spacious actually. And you have your lights right there for the trunk. You can fit groceries in here. And let's see what's underneath here. Jack, spirit, there you go, right there, your tools, spare tire, everything that you need, just need to put everything back together. spacious now let's go right here this is the doors again you now you can see this red stitching right here it's actually leather and this one's plastic right now 
but they're soft touch they're feels like they're made in fine materials and there we get your power window again over there and this is what it looks like in the back it looks a little dirty i'm sorry about that and now we go to the front seat now you have the same thing on the front seat you get the red stitching right here which looks a little sportier floor mats are a little dirty but oh well now right here you can see oh, there's a little bit bolster seats right here in the front now this one comes in with like it's not an electric you have this control push forward backward and this one to recline and that's for front back now this is a cool feature um I'm not sure if this was a carbon fiber, but looks really good on the dash. Okay, now let's hop in on the driver's side seat. Okay. Now on this side, you still have the red stitching right there with controls for the mirror locks control your side mirror and this one again since it's a base you could adjust it up and down to tilt it use your gas tank and this is for the forward and back backward or the seat and this one's actually pretty cool they come in with like a sporty pedals kind of like sporty sporty looking pedals but it's a stick again and now let's start to turn it on we're not going to do any review we're just going to do one block one review for this car okay this is what it looks like when you get in it's actually a kind of cool feature right there we can see this the car right there shows you the date and time and now let's turn it on this one comes in this is a key, by the way, because this is the base model. When you go up to premium, you get the push button start. But. Okay, now we're gonna start it. You gotta press the clutch. It sounds amazing. Let's turn off the AC. I'm not sure if you can hear it, but it sounds really good in a cold start. Okay, now by the way, this one comes in with a 6.5 Starlink Multimedia Control. And this is a base, but it comes in with an Apple CarPlay and an Android Auto. And you get Sirius XM on that one. And you get cruise control on this base model. Let me, okay, there we go. And you got your phone, other controls on this side of the steering wheel. But I'm not sure if you could hear the car a little bit. Okay, so this one has 1423 miles. Um, I've driven it for a little bit, went to the coast and back. It, it's amazing. I, I love the performance and it was my break in period. So, okay. have this control oops let me close the door okay this is your main gauge right here and you would have a little gauge right here it would show you your boost um you could go up to 25 pounds of boost second screen would be like the settings and this one comes in with like the date and time today is august 31st and it's a tuesday it's almost eight o'clock 
And on the next screen, we have your average miles per gallon. This one actually is pretty good, 29.4 miles per gallon. And based on the gasoline that I have, which is right here, beside the brake on the left side, lower left. So it's telling me that I got 80 more miles left. Outside temperature on this side, 76 degrees. And it's 750. This one's actually one of the controls that I really like. This one shows you the angle of the car. Now we're at negative one. If it's pointing, um, if you go to a hill, this one adjusts this. And on the left side is your all wheel drive. Um, it would show you that all if, which wheels has like torque on it it turns green I'll show you that in a second and you got your acceleration right here on that side average my average mile per gallon in the middle is 0, 0.0 which we're not running and we're averaging 23.2 miles per gallon okay now this is the boost I like to put it right there Every time I drive, I can see it. And you could see on this side right here, acceleration, it would show you like how, how much acceleration you have based on your feet on the pedal. Right here, we have all our hazard lights and this one's control up and down right here. That's for that one. Now we go to the radio, we got Sirius XM and this one, and if you go to home, you can compare your phone, Starlink, your media, and there's a USB for that one, radio, your apps, Pandora, Travel Link, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, um, settings, if you need to do something in the car, like brightness, that kind of stuff. Um, I didn't really mess around with this. Rear camera timeout, I added nine seconds, just in case when you go to reverse. I'll sh let me show that to you real quick while we're here. Um, we'll put it back on radio. Okay, now when I put it on reverse, it would show you that. Now when you go back to neutral, it should give you another nine seconds when you're moving. So this is what the inside, this is the shifter that you have. This is the base to help your six speed and belt. Holders right here, and you got your. I'm not sure if you can see it. It's the USB ports. This is actually a nice car. Now, on the lights, we have two lights right here front light, mop light, however you want to call it. Got your lights right there. Same thing on the passenger side. You got your dome lights. And it's actually pretty pretty nice. Okay, now it's almost dark time. Let's turn on your lights. It's on this side. I like the kind of like a red color backlights on this one all right so you can see on the mirror right here you have those ones steering wheels you can see that one too and let's turn on the light up front it's actually pretty and this one doesn't come with the led since it's a base but it's pretty decent if you look at that 
And let's take it out for a spin. Might as well get that one over here. Just put my seatbelt on. Okay. Now I got my seatbelt on. We're just gonna go around the block. It's almost nighttime. Okay, it would show you first gear right there. And show you second gear. It's actually pretty responsive. And on the boost side, you can see your acceleration right there. Going back to first shift or first gear, sorry. Second gear. Now you can see we're 14 miles an hour. We can't really go that fast. We're just going around the block. Clutch is a little, well, not too deep, deep, but you'll get used to it once you test the right point or own one. Now, this is the feature that I was talking about. We go in reverse. You have those um, guide lights that you have right there. I put it back to neutral and it's still in there for nine seconds before it goes back to the radio. Okay, now let's take a look at it when it's dark and we got the lights on. Let's check it out what it looks like outside. So this is what it looks like on the dark. So you have those lights signal lights are on the bottom side this one right here I'll turn it on in a little bit that's what it looks like on nighttime and there's like a real forgot to tell you this little spoiler right here And that's what it looked like at night. I'm not sure if you could hear it, but it's, it actually sounds good. And this is an all stock unit. This is an all stock car. They didn't do any modification on it yet. Okay, well, let me check what else I forgot to cover with you guys since showed you everything on this car well most of it so don't forget this is a 2021 Subaru WRX all-wheel drive and this is the base model now don't forget that this one comes in um if you get a brand new one you get three year 36,000 basic warranty so that's a bumper to bumper something goes wrong with the car take it to Subaru they'll fix it five year 60,000 miles powertrain right here and you got five years unlimited miles for rust. And you have a three year, 36,000 mile, 24 seven roadside assistance. Should be a sticker right here in your passenger side for roadside assistance. There you go, 1-800 number. And this one's actually, um, base price for this car is actually not bad it's at i would say 27 30 for this car um and add the whatever standard options they have and that's going to be your final price but anyway this is a 2.0 it's a turbocharged engine it's a six-speed transmission 
It has sport tune suspension and it comes in with a 17 inch alloy wheels. And you have summer tires on it. You got the heated mirrors right there. You don't have a DSM blind spot monitor. If you go to the premium, then you get one. And you don't have eyesight on the base model. And you have power locks on this one. Window lock. And let's pop the engine. I forgot to do that. Let's do that real quick. Now for this controls right here. This one's for if you want it to go really dim to high light. And trunk release. Let's open that one up. Traction control. And let's turn on the AC. Which is actually nice. The controls in that one is up there where you can see beside the clock. Right there. Right now it's 71. You could put it up to 74, 76, 69, whatever your desired temperature inside the car. And I think that's one of the features that I, I really like instead of like putting the fan speed and whatever temperature you have. Okay, now let's pop the hood. Okay, now gasoline tank right here on that's the switch, or switch for your tank and I don't know if I can find it. It's right here. Left side passenger, or left side driver, bottom. Let's pop this by, let's pop the hood. Again, the hood scoop, which is really functional on this car. It's not just there for aesthetics. Okay, let's open this one up. Here we have the 2.0 boxer, no, 2.0 turbocharged boxer Subaru. Um, this for the hood scoop, you can see it's down right there. Actually, it's pretty neat. Nice. It's a soft battery. It's a really nice car. Okay, now since we opened up the gas tank, it's located on the passenger side rear. We still have the regular gas cap instead of the no gas cap, but it's okay. Now this one's 15 or 14 gallons, I'm not sure, but it takes around $50 to fill it up. Um, well, that's it for our review for this 2021 Super WRX. I hope you like this video. And if you like this video, please like and subscribe. Have a good night. Bye bye.